Hey everyone, Bricknut here. In this video, we're going to have a little look at another vintage set. This one is another lights and sound set. Um, it's from 1991, and it's set number 6440 Jetport Fire Squad. It came with 84 pieces. Now, this is actually one of my favourite sets. There we go. Get two of these figures with a little airport logo on the front there, black fireman's helmet. Got this one here as well. Exactly the same. No difference whatsoever, they're twins. <laughs> and the, here's the truck itself. And then it's red flashing lights. Um, and what they've used, they've used the transparent slope bricks. Which I like. And if you notice, this is also a six stud wide build. So they did do them back then, but not very often. There's the um, water jets, which I would use to spray the foam and water and whatnot onto the crashed aeroplane. Little storage in there for some breathing tanks. I can't remember if there's meant to be something on there or not. A little axe, a little hose reel, fire extinguisher. I've got one of those either side. And on the front, there's two more jets that are hiding under that. Headlights, headlights, lots of headlights. Oh, and I've just noticed I've got a damn transparent red piece missing there. It has a siren as well. doesn't have the original battery box on it at the minute because the original one is here with the number 5 on it but uh, I've noticed one of my contacts in there needs a very good clean so it's, it's not working at the minute but that's the only reason it's not working it is just because of that contact so I've swapped over and I've put another one in there just so I can show it working so I'm going to take that away later and uh, give that a clean up, get it working. But, uh, yeah, also with this one, you can actually seat two figures in there. There is enough room. There's only one seat, but there is room to put two in there, which I like. I like the design of this quite a lot. You've got that sort of I don't know if anyone has actually seen a real airport fire truck, but they are quite large, beefy trucks. You know, the sort of truck that you look at and think that truck means business. <laughs> and I get that feel from this as well. It's really, I like that because it gives you plenty of room to get in there. Probably easier for child's hands. I've got short, stubby sausage fingers, which doesn't help. A little spotlight on here as well. That does do a full 360 too. There is a sunroof in there as well, as you can see right there. Uh, before I forget, can I see them? I think it's got knocked off where it's been sitting on the floor because I haven't got a shelf any shelf space at the minute. There we go. Otherwise, I would have forgotten to do that. There we go. It's um, a little more tricky to get to the battery pack on this one because you've got to take these slope bricks off to get to it. And you've got to take the lights off. And you've got to take the siren thing off as well. Then you can wiggle the battery pack out. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a chore to change the battery, but I don't actually know what the lifespan of a battery is on these. I mean, this is brand spanking new, so those lights are actually quite bright. 
I don't think I've ever had them that bright because I've never put a brand spanking new battery in them. Whee! It's, um, it's a nice truck. There's the undercarriage. I do like that feature, you know, where the front jets are hidden by that little bumper thing. Well, it's not going to do it now. Squeaky wheels! I actually find a lot of these old sets, if you leave them on the shelf, they do develop squeaky wheels. Which can be annoying. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and this little look at this uh, set from 1991. And I've got uh, plenty more up on that shelf that I can do, but I just thought I'd focus on these ones for now. Um, I've got one more to do. And I will then move on to other stuff. Exactly what, I don't know. I think I'm just going to pick them at random from the shelf. And uh, double check my channel so I don't do a review on a set that I've already done one on. But anyway, as always, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And I will talk to you again in the next video. Bye-bye.